What a boring video today is gonna be. Good morning everyone. So we actually slept at the front of a library here in Haggai. I'm actually still under the undercovered area here. One of the better night sleeps for me. It didn't actually get to rain last night. It was really cloudy and it was quite windy. I was editing a video here and everything was just blowing away. But when I went to sleep, I managed to sleep pretty well. There was actually a few incidents last night where someone walked straight by us, like literally meters past us and they mumbled something in Japanese. I'm not sure if they were saying awesome, there's some cyclists, well done, or, or if they were saying something along the lines of those stupid foreigners, what are they doing? But either either, they didn't disturb us, so that was fine. <gasps> There's actually quite a few things we can actually do in the city of Haggai. We actually got heaps of maps yesterday that are going to help us on our adventures today. Go see some temples, we can go see some samurai residences, we can go see museums, we can go see furnace. We're actually going to wait until the library opens around 9.30 or so. We're going to go in there and actually plan the day out, use their Wi-Fi. cooking up some noodles but while I wait for the water to heat up I'm actually gonna adjust my brakes because they are a little loose on the downhill coming down here in the wet it was really tricky to try and pull up in time so I'm gonna adjust the brakes so on this setup I'm actually running the Shimano Dior V brakes and they've actually gotten quite loose over time so I'm just gonna adjust these up super spongy yeah super spongy as you can see there's like a lot of give there in the lever as well it doesn't even start breaking until it's all the way in yeah Awesome. That's dangerous. And just like that, Bob's your uncle. Here at the front of the Shinto Shrine. This place is actually chockers at the moment. There's so many people here. <laughs> chockers. <laughs> it means a lot of people. So they must be doing field trips and tourist groups. There's like field trips and tourist groups for miles. So it's actually a little difficult at the moment to learn about all this stuff because it's all in Japanese. So behind me is the Shonka Shonjuku Private Academy under the Pines School. So this is where samurais actually taught and it was just a private school for intelligent students as well. So the school was actually founded by Yoshida Shoyu and he taught students from all types of backgrounds for free. So the school is actually pretty small from today's standards. Basically this is it. All it is is just a little room here. There's another extended room at the back here but this was the main area. So behind me here is the Shoin Shrine and it's dedicated to the spirit of Yoshida Shoin who was an activist during the Edo period. So the shrine was erected in 1882 after Shoin was executed in 1859. So this is what it looks like inside. So this is pretty interesting stuff but we want to learn about the samurai history so we're going to see if we can uh, get to some residences. So there's actually a giant samurai dude on the other side of this window. I didn't even see him there. They must use him for festivals or some kind of celebrations. So they actually have an allophone, but I'm not sure if an elephant is going to be able to fit in there to make a call. We're making our way up to the Haggai Reverberatory Furnace. This was actually used to cast cannons, but it was retired very early on. It's one of the few examples of Japan turning into an industrial revolution here in the West. And there it is. 
So the only remains left of the furnace is the chimney and that's about 10 and a half meters tall. So eight meters of the chimney is constructed with andesite and the other two and a half meters is just large brick. So there's actually three of these furnaces Japan wide, but if you want to learn more information on the other two, I'll drop some links down below, some Wikipedia links and some other factual information will be included down below. I have no idea how to pronounce the names, so that's why I'm including the links down below. Thanks for watching today's video everyone. I hope you enjoyed a little taste of Hagai. We're actually here at a park where we're camping tonight. But thank you guys for watching. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Also, if you have any questions or you'd like to say something about this adventure, chuck a comment down below in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next one.